With the Avatar project temporarily at a standstill and no obvious targets on the map, we spent the next few days focusing on our expansion efforts. By that point, our communication network had nearly encompassed the entire planet, and we had no shortage of intel on potential contacts in both Europe and North America. Of course, Bradford could only be in one place at a time, so we sent him out to Eastern Europe first. Our propaganda had worked wonders, and the locals practically leapt at the chance to support XCOM. I let the men spend some time celebrating the holidays with the locals, but then it was time to get back to work. After discussing our options with Lily and the engineering team, I decided to sink the vast majority of our remaining resources into building a new radio tower in Europe. This would allow us to not only contact resistance groups throughout the rest of the country, but afterwards we would be able to approach North America from both sides, which would hopefully allow us to complete our global communication network just a bit more efficiently. I guess Blightwalker must have been paying close attention to our activities, because the moment we started work on our new construction project, word came in that the hunter was leading an advent strike team against one of our camps in West Asia. It was obviously bait. Blightwalker had to know that we were right around the corner, globally speaking. I didn't know what it was that he had planned, but we obviously couldn't ignore this threat against our allies. Since this was a rescue mission, Mark and Don were obviously on the team. They seemed particularly excited by the new Icarus armor. Mark kept saying things about flying too close to the sun, and Don kept babbling about soaring to the gates of Valhalla. Well, whatever made them happy. It seemed extraordinarily likely that we would be running into the Hunter, so of course I also decided to send along the Hunter Killer. She, uh... It had performed quite admirably the last time it had gone up against Blightwalker. I filled out the rest of the team with some of our other veterans as well, including Atlas, Vlad, and Messer. As usual, it was a solid team, but I warned the men to be on their guard. It was obvious that we were playing right into Blightwalker's hands, so we were going to need to be ready for anything he could possibly throw at us. Just got word the aliens are hitting a resistance outpost with everything they've got, and our people don't stand a chance against them. We're heading in to secure the area. Eliminate all enemy contacts. Chosen is leading an assault on the resistance encampment in this area. Our people are doing what they can to fight back, but we need to help protect the civilians trapped nearby. There's a group of resistance soldiers hunkered down not far from your position. Move in and help fend off the attacking alien forces. Hey, Retcon Raider here. And welcome back to episode 40. Position confirmed. It looks like today we're handling another Haven defense mission, though it does appear to be the easier version, where we have resistance fighters helping us. Since we know those resistance fighters are just going to start gunning down every Advent soldier in sight, we need to get in there before the resistance steals all of our kills. Oh, and speaking of kills, there's our first Advent pod. Looks like an Archon and a Spectre. These guys will automatically scatter as soon as we move the rest of the squad up. So, we might as well have Messer let them know we're coming. Critical hit. Definitely not a bad start. Okay, now let's start moving the rest of our guys up, and we'll pick off shots at these guys wherever possible. Let's move Atlas up first, and see if he can persuade that Archon to join our side. Join me. Oh, 
Oh, wow. I think he actually failed. Man, we haven't had that happen in a long time. That's fine. Maybe we've become too reliant on all these fancy mind powers. We'll just take them out the old-fashioned way. go. That takes out another chunk of their health and lights the Archon on fire. Now let's bring someone else up. Well, I'd like to bring Mark close enough to shoot at those guys, but he can't reach any ideal cover. Oh, but Kazador counts as cover, so let's just bring Kazador up near this tree here, and then Mark can take cover behind her. Of course, we might as well have her make a few attacks first. Unfortunate. Okay, let's bring Mark into the fray. And we'll have him focus on the Spectre as well. Man, it's still alive? Well, hair trigger proc, so one more time. There we go. Now, let's see what that Archon decides to do. Oh, right. Him. Better be careful. Looks like he's pretty much unchanged since the last time we saw him. It's dangerous out here. Welcome to the party, pal. Elders must have caught wind of our operation. They sent in one of the Chosen. We should try to track that thing down and deal with it before it causes too much trouble. Okay, the Archon moves up but doesn't attack. And now it's time to watch the Resistance kill everything. <laughs> hey, it's an Andromedan. Now I wish I'd saved that Dominate. Okay, let's keep moving our guys up, and obviously we need to take out that Archon. We'll have Vlad start us off. Nice. There's a solid 10 damage hit. Now we should be able to finish the Archon off with one more shot. So let's start focusing on the next enemy pod. There's that Andromedan. Oh, but he's got two more Archons behind him. Well, that does make things a little more problematic. We're going to need to be careful on how we approach this one. I'd like to trim off the Andromedan's cover and armor. Unfortunately, it doesn't look like we can line up a shot that wouldn't also kill a civilian. But I think... Okay, I've got an idea of what I want to do here. Let's take out that first Archon. An efficient kill. You're a cold-blooded killer, Commander. It takes one to know one. There's Blightwalker stating the obvious again. Okay, now let's have Atlas neutralize those Archons with one of his powers. Step into the void. Ah, 
Looks like Atlas gets to mind control something after all. Well, it's only a temporary mind control, but it'll certainly make things easier. That should keep the other Archon busy for the moment, but we still have to deal with this Andromedan. Finally. Oh, okay. Let's try this. Don will grab that loot over there. Say so. More cores, always useful. Now we'll turn around and try to hit that thing with Frostbite. Nice. Now that we've got the Andromedan frozen, we have plenty of time to take it apart. You should see the swords my sister carries around. Oh, Blightwalker. Too soon, man. We obviously don't want Mark to kill the Andromedan, because the suit wouldn't be frozen once it reanimated. On Overwatch. Nice. Looks like the Archons are busy pummeling each other. And the hunter is spawn camping, as usual. Okay, Blightwalker's aiming at dawn, so we'll come back to him in a moment. First, we'll start bringing everyone else up. That way they can focus on taking out that Andromedan before the end of the turn. Whoops, though we're not off to a good start. Come on, Vlad. It's a stationary target. Well, we'll have Messer take care of it instead. There we go. That takes care of the Andromedan. Now we just need to take care of the suit. Messer's still got an action, so I guess we'll use it to get him into a slightly better position. Naturally. We shouldn't have any trouble taking out the Andromedan, so I guess we should start thinking about taking out that Archon over there. Let's bring someone over here. Okay, Atlas. Atlas can move into the creek. Let's move already. And then we'll have his Archon trim a little more health off that Andromedan over there. Thanks for your service, and here's your reward. You can't run from my power. Well, I was hoping that would take out both of the Archons, but it got pretty close. Let's bring up the rest of the squad and finish the job. Let's move already. This unit is relatively active. That takes care of the Archon. Why don't you pick on someone your own size? The resistance team is in the clear. They're moving to help the other survivors. There's a large group of civilians pinned down within range of your position. Sensors indicate hostile forces are closing in fast. We need to get in there before the aliens slaughter those people. Well, I feel like the resistance is being a little premature there, but... You know what, it's fine. We've got the Andromedan under control. Let's go ahead and shuffle Don out of the line of fire. Then he can turn around and hopefully finish off that thing. 
Once again, Talon Round saved the day. Maybe you have better luck with that thing than my sibling. Still too soon, Blightwalker. Okay, looks like he's repositioning somewhere. Now the resistance is up, so hopefully they can point out some of the enemies to us. Oh, they didn't actually shoot at anything. In that case, I guess we'll just keep moving the squad up. Hmm. What's over there? Nothing in sight, so... Okay, let's bring up the rest of the squad. Just get some of our guys on Overwatch and Come get up. I am vigilant. Me and get me. Your move, Blightwalker. I think he's actually Yeah, now he's right back where he started. Blighty, man, you're really making it hard for me to take you seriously. Okay, looks like we've got a Berserker in sight. Oh, and a Codex. Now there's a second Codex, but I've got a sneaking suspicion that clone's not going to survive the turn. Oh, well, I actually thought the Resistance Fighters were going to kill it, but I guess Don got greedy. Looks like we've got another Berserker on the right flank. And there's a Spectre. That's a bit more dangerous. Now the Codex is down. I hope you're not expecting me to go down that easy. Looks like it's our turn again. We'll just keep advancing and taking shots at any target that presents itself. Moving to position. There are two pods and a chosen on the field. The problem is Here that most of our guys are just too far back to actually reach them this turn. Stomp, stomp, stomp. So we'll probably end up putting most of our squad on Overwatch. I guess that'll be okay. For years I warned the elders the others were unworthy. You simply proved me right. That's one of the Chosen. Heads up. Thanks, Bradford. I had no idea one of the Chosen was here. Note to self. Schedule another brain scan for Bradford. I'm growing increasingly concerned with his short-term memory loss. Affirmative. Covering now. Now let's get everyone on Overwatch and... I guess we can take a pot shot at the Berserker over there. Well, Come at on. least he got its attention. Now. Hmm, a faceless. That thing's going to end up eating all of our Overwatch fire. What are... Oh. Okay. Looks like the pod on our right flank just activated. And they've got two specters. That actually makes them the biggest threat on the board right now. 
Yeah. Both of those specters are gravitating towards our squad. Commander, Advent isn't backing off. They've got units in the AO that are ignoring our forces just to get a better shot at the civilians. Take those bastards down. I'm the best there is. I'm just testing the waters. I love how Blightwalker missed his shot against Cazador, declared himself to be the best, and then downplayed his miss, all in the span of 10 seconds. And now we get to watch the Resistance slowly and methodically cut these guys apart. This really makes it obvious that the enemy AI just doesn't take the Resistance fighters into account. The enemies just end up walking right past these guys, leaving themselves open to flanking shots. Whoa! <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> I wasn't expecting that. Well, the uh, Resistance only killed one guy that turn, but it was quite spectacular. Okay, let's start off by taking out the Faceless. Not quite enough to get the job done, but pretty close. It looks like Cazador's got line of sight on multiple targets, so I think it's time to put her on overdrive. That's one. I suppose that's why the elders want you back on the tactical side, Commander. That's two. Doesn't seem all that difficult to me. And she can't finish off any other targets in one shot, so let's move on to someone else for a moment. Let's bring Don up so he can start picking on the hunter. Okay, I'll go. Uh oh. It's entirely possible that I may have overextended myself here. Don's in a bit of a tight spot, but fortunately our newly arrived pod has lined itself up perfectly. There we go. That should do it. No kills, but a lot of solid damage. Now let's bring Atlas up, and I'm sure he can do something to help out Don. Let's do this. Well, we could always... Hold on a second. Hey, Dominate's back. I guess when I missed earlier, it must have just put it into cooldown. Well, I was just going to kill that Berserker, but why let it go to waste? Not really sure what's going on with the Resistance fighters over there, but that's fine. We'll just stay focused on what we're doing. Resistance team is in the clear. They're moving to help the other survivors. We've still got three Spectres on the field, so we've got to start taking them out before they can start hitting us with those instant knockout attacks. Actually, we might be able to take out two birds with one stone here. Ah, uh, hold on. Let's not blow up Don if we can avoid it. That should be fine. Right behind you. That takes care of one of the Spectres. Now we'll just have Don finish off the other one real quick. Well, I definitely got that one. Then we'll bring Mark up and 
use teamwork to give Don another action. Tired of waiting around. Together we are strong. Oh, right, we've still got another Berserker hiding behind that corner over there. Let's get Dawn into a better position with the grappling hook. Grappling. And then... Oh, well, I guess we're shooting at the hunter. I was actually hoping Don would be able to lean over the railing here and put a round or two into the other Berserker's head, but I guess we'll just keep taking shots at the Hunter instead. Another miss. Unfortunate. Not good. You were born for this. Now get out there and fight. Uh-oh. In retrospect, I really should have prepared for this. Well, that just happened. The Spectre's pretty well entrenched, but hopefully the Resistance fighters can help us out with that. Looks like the Hunter is moving up to flank Don. Or maybe not. Crude, but effective. Okay, Blightwalker just hit us with a nothing grenade. I didn't see any damage or status effects there. Oh, and the resistance fighters must have heard my pleas because they're starting to take shots at that specter. Wow, they might actually kill it. Well, okay then. Crisis averted. Welcome back, Vlad. Blightwalker, I don't really want to tell you how to do your job, but you really could have chosen a better place to stand. All right, everyone. Time to go beat the snot out of the hunter. Of course, we do still have that berserker on the field as well. Messer should be able to help us with that. Now let's use Icarus Jump to bring Mark up into a better position. I should be able to get a flanking shot from this position, but the preview function apparently disagrees. Okay, we definitely have a flanking shot. But now it won't actually let me take it, so let's cycle through the squad real quick. That was definitely a bug, but at least it was easy to work around. My target, minimal damage. Oh, right. I bet you can't do that again. I guess I'm really not thinking here. I should have started by having one of our guys trim off the hunter's armor. Let's go ahead and take care of that now. Their inferior design is more oh, I'm getting a little angry. I guess we should finish off the Berserker while we're at it. There we go. 
target neutralized. And back to pummeling the hunter. You are vulnerable. Now we've got Blightwalker on the rope, so I think we're going to take a chance here. He's weak against melee attack, so we're going to have Don make a blade rush. And then, hopefully, once the hunter's turn comes up, Don will immediately finish him off with a blade storm attack. It's going to take more than a few moves to slow me down, Commander. Things are about to get even more interesting around here. I got it, right? That takes care of the hunter, though he did leave us a couple of parting gifts. You've surprised me once again, Commander. Maybe I need to reconsider my tactics. We've proven the Chosen can be here. Now we just have to work on putting them down for good. Of course, with what? seven resistance fighters on our side, I don't think those chrysalids are going to last very long. It's fine. After these guys took out that specter, I guess they deserve to have a little fun. civilians and there are no other hostile contacts on the scope. Good work out there. And despite the destruction left in their wake, XCOM refuses to let go of the ways of the old world. They will continue their wanton and reckless crimes until the entire world burns around them. We are grateful to the Elders for their support in ending this menace once and for all. these chosen can be killed well temporarily really what tipped you off the fact that we've already killed two of them hmm. maybe there's something in the avengers water i'll admit as far as blight walker's ambushes went this one had almost worked apparently his plan had hinged on luring us into the midst of a pack of specters and for a brief fleeting second it had almost seemed like it was going to work Fortunately, like all of the Hunter's plans, it ended up falling apart in the end. Blightwalker had been so focused on neutralizing our team that he had completely neglected to take our ground contacts into account. Thanks to the brave resistance fighters that helped guard our camps, we had managed to drive off Blightwalker's strike team with only a single civilian casualty. Of course, as usual, Blightwalker was quick to contact us afterwards, downplaying the magnitude of his loss. Every battle he lost was a trivial setback, but even the smallest success was a monumental achievement. Sometimes it felt like I was dealing with a petulant child, or maybe a politician. The important thing was that, now that we knew the hunter was at least temporarily neutralized, we could finally focus on constructing that tower in Eastern Europe and completing our latest research project. Despite Blightwalker's best efforts, we were continuing to slowly but surely liberate the planet. One small step at a time.